Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back with another commentary. Today I wanted to do something to contrast the worst 10 Nexon moves ever with another hostile life topic called, guess what? Top 10 best Nexon combat arms moves ever. So, without any further ado, this is going to work the same way as the last one where I start from, like, good all the way going to the best moves they've ever made. And I think these are the best moves they've made not only as a company, but as, you know, people hosting a game for a lot of people to play. So, Going into number one, removing permanence from the NX shop a few years ago. Although they came back in the end, it was a brilliant marketing strategy and made the game better while it was like that. Sadly, they came back from permanent and people started buying them again, but while it was like that, people were less inclined to buy NX weapons and it was a more fair game overall. And that was also before the whole epics thing came around, to be honest. Focusing on new content for the game they already have, rather than trying to catch up to newer games, this is actually something they aren't doing rather than trying to do, which may sound strange, but many games fail because they try to meet this status quo. Part of what makes CA enjoyable at its core is that it's simple and easy to play and they haven't clouded that out. Next up is actively swapping around management positions within the company without removing people from the company. Every time someone in charge gets dull, they replace them with someone else, and usually new stuff is brought into the game. If you look at the Common Arms timeline, for example, the best events and content are usually added right after new people come into management positions at Nexon, especially, you know, Nexon North America. Next up is incorporating a type of coding called Matrix Reduction into the Combat Arms software. Many of you may not know this, but as of Combat Arms 2.1 a few years ago, this type of coding was implanted into Combat Arms and usually, you know, it just kind of reworks the entire frame of Combat Arms in order to reduce latency on the client side and make graphics run faster. Anyone who used a kind of crappy computer back in the day of 2010 and prior knows exactly what I mean. You may not have seen anything actually, like, visually on screen, but you'll notice the game started to run a lot smoother after Combat Arms 2.1. Next up is creating duty roster. Although it could have been done better and for free, the fact is that there is now a way to ban specs and that game mechanic is brilliant. Next up is hosting servers for different countries. This is pretty self-explanatory, although it does degrade the number of people on any one set of servers at a time. However, this is also a way to, you know, less latency in-game and more people have better connections, which is overall a good move. Next up is hosting the Spiders vs. Scorpions event. Although it was horribly stacked the second time around, it was the most popular event ever hosted, bringing in a record number of players for the first year of release, the first time the event was hosted. Recently, creating the Tau Weapons Upgrade System. This is ingenious. Players get to play with old school weapons that are not horribly overpowered, draws players into the game with the incentive of free perms, and permanent X rares at that. Lots of ability to expand to other weapons, the list goes on and on, but this system is brilliant in every way, shape, and form. UCD even made an entire video over this, I suggest you guys go watch it. Finally, actively updating the maps and creating new content. This is the number one way to retain players in an online game. New content is the key. I've said this before, doesn't make it any less true. Thank you guys for watching this commentary. I know it was a little bit longer than usual, but please post your ideas in the comment section below. I'm interested in seeing what you think the best moves Combat Arms has ever made is, or if you have any other ideas, let's hear them. Thank you for watching the video once again, and I will see you in the next one. Shadowlance, out.